There are eight victims that are pronounced deceased at this point. Right now at five, at least eight people are killed when a gunman opens fire at a transportation center. It's a developing story tonight, and we can tell you the gunman is also dead. We're learning new information about his connection to the railway yard where this happened. CBS 4's Len Ramirez is live tonight in San Jose, California. And Len, we understand the shock and sadness being felt there tonight, having felt it here in, after the Parkland massacre. So how are people there coping tonight? Elliot and Lauren, uh, you can imagine the heartbreak and the tragedy of this shooting, this mass shooting that occurred here in San Jose uh, early this morning. The shooting scene is just down the block behind me, and investigators have been here since the early morning hours trying to piece together why a VTA transit employee would come in and want to kill eight of his coworkers and then apparently turn the gun on himself. 911 calls started coming in just after 6.30 this morning, reporting an active shooter at the Valley Transportation Authority rail yard near downtown San Jose. There are eight victims that are pronounced deceased at this point, and there is one suspect that is pronounced deceased. There are VTA employees that are victims. The suspect, whose name is not being released, was a VTA employee. Deputies immediately swarmed the scene. We received information that there are explosive devices that are located inside the building. The FBI and ATF are assisting with the investigation. It is a fairly sizable crime scene and is going to take a while to process. We also heard from a recent briefing that there was uh, a very uh, heroic effort by law enforcement to go in and extract uh, victims during this uh, apparent uh, gun battle that was ensuing at the VTA facility. VTA is a family. People in the organization know everyone. This is a terrible tragedy, and we will do everything we can to help people get through this. The rail yard is next to the county government center, which also houses the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department. And the suspect has been identified as 57-year-old Samuel Cassidy. He's also believed to have set his own house on fire before coming over here uh, to commit this mass shooting. Investigation is just getting underway, but we're also learning uh, that this may have been tied to a union meeting that was occurring early this morning, perhaps around 6 this morning, uh, when the, the shots rang out. The first uh, reports to uh, county communications came in at about 6.30. Now, we're also told uh, from source that several police officers were on scene very early and they were able to help in extracting as many as 40 VTA employees who were here for that meeting that did make it out safely. Back to you. Len Ramirez live for us in San Jose, California. Thank you. Look for much more on the deadly mass shooting tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.